Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org and I'm here with Jeff Kelly, also of Wikibon. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's coverage of the Tableau Customer Conference. We're here in DC, we're at the Gaylord Hotel, just an awesome setting as you can uh, see behind us. Uh, we're looking at the Potomac and this is Tableau's customer conference, the big customer event. Tableau, for those of you who don't know, is an extremely hot, smoking hot visualization company. They just recently did an IPO. Uh, they've got a $4 billion market cap. We're talking about a $200 million company growing north of 70% annually. Uh, this company, Jeff, has really been on our radar since uh, several years ago when our friend Abi Mehta introduced us to them uh, at the Hadoop World Conference. And it's all about capturing the power of big data and data through visualization. So it's not exclusively confined to Hadoop, but essentially there are organizations out there, they're using spreadsheets or they're using traditional BI tools and either they're drowning in data uh, and, and, and uh, Excel is just too cumbersome to use or they've got to go to the IT department through the traditional BI channels and, and basically ask, beg, borrow, and steal the ability to get access to data and to reports. What Tableau does is they simplify that. They're really, their mission was to put the, the data uh, in, the, in the hands of the users through visualization. Visualization, as we've talked about, a silicon angle Wikibon is a critical component of big data, and Jeff, we're here wall to wall to cover this. It's good to be working with you again. It's good to be working with you too, Dave. Yeah, so um, give me your take on, uh, on visualization and its importance to the whole data and big data industry. Sure, well, you know, for years, um, really data was not uh, readily available in terms of easily uh, analyzing it to business users. Uh, you know, you had to typically go through, if you're a business user, you wanted to analyze some data, you wanted to visualize it, you went to your IT department, you asked, uh, begged, as you said, sometimes to uh, for them to build you a, a dashboard, some kind of type of application to allow you to analyze that data. If you got a little frustrated with that, you might load data into your Excel spreadsheet and try to work with it that way. But uh, really, uh, it's been a difficult challenge for, for business users uh, to make the most of their data, and that's what Tableau is all about, uh, to try to make it easier for uh, business users, not uh, data scientists necessarily, although data scientists also love uh, some of the capabilities of Tableau's uh, suite of software, uh, but for business users really to very easily pull together their own visualizations to help them do their jobs on a day, day in, day out basis. Um, and ultimately, you know, we talk about, in, in the big data space, we talk a lot about some of the underlying infrastructure and uh, the database world, uh, things like Hadoop and NoSQL databases being able to scale uh, to really, now we can store and process so much more data uh, in, in any number of structures. But ultimately, to get the value from that data, you've got to unlock it and make it available to business people who are actually making the decisions on the ground every day. So that's really where Tableau comes in. Uh, making it possible for business users to really get a better understanding of their data, find insights uh, that they otherwise couldn't find, uh, and just really unlocking the power of data. So, so today, Jeff, is really customer day. Uh, we have got some guests from Tableau on, but major, major customer day. We've got GE coming on, they're coming on at the top of the hour, 10 o'clock Eastern time. LinkedIn will be on, uh, Paychex, Barclays Bank, Apple Computers coming on. Excited to hear from those guys, Manpower. Manpower is a story that Tableau uh, loves to share uh, because of the impact that it had on the time it took to actually get to data and the resources that it took to get to data. Cisco's coming on, Ray Wang is here, uh, he's at the conference, we just saw him on Twitter, he's going to come on and give his perspectives. So really looking forward to that. And then tomorrow, Jeff, we've got more customers but also more content from the Tableau executives, right? That's right, we're going to have uh, Kristen Chebo's going to come on, the CEO, of course, rang the bell uh, at, the, at the NASDAQ in May when the, uh, the company went public. Uh, as you mentioned, Dave, they're having a, a fantastic run of it lately. Uh, last quarter, uh, around $50 million in revenue, up 71% year over year. Uh, signed 1,500 new customers, they're up to 13,500 customers. So we'll talk to Christian about kind of the momentum the company's seeing. Uh, we'll also talk to uh, Elisa Fink will join us, the CMO who's really running this conference, doing a great job 
Uh, had some time last night to, to visit with customers and attendees. Everyone really excited about the conference. Uh, so we'll talk to Elisa about that as well. Um, and then of course we'll have e even more customers uh, and some partners as well. So, as you said, I mean, recent IPO, and, and this thing is, is really smoking hot. I mean, you're talking about a $200 million company with a $4 billion market cap. So, I mean, it's up there from an IPO standpoint with the likes of a Workday uh, or, or, or a service now. Smaller from a market cap perspective than those companies, but it's, it's right out of the chute. I mean, they basically had one quarter unpacking some of that. Jeff, talk a little bit about the competition, uh, and then we'll, we'll, we'll cut to our next guest, but who does Tableau compete with in this space? Well, a uh, couple different areas. So kind of in the same or similar vein, I should say, of Tableau is a company called ClickTech. Uh, Tableau and Click often get uh, compared because they take a, a somewhat similar approach uh, in terms of providing self-service uh, data visualization capabilities aimed at business users. Um, but really, even more than Click, I think what they're really uh, competing against, Dave, are the incumbent business intelligence players, uh, SAP Business Objects, IBM Cognos, and others, who really have uh, you know, a very strong uh, foothold in the enterprise, uh, you know, but they take a much different approach. It's much more IT-led business intelligence. That is the kind of the scenario we were talking about earlier, where an end user or a department might request certain types of applications and dashboards. They go to IT, uh, make the request. IT builds them uh, using- A cube. Yeah, builds no a cube. No pun intended. We're here at the cube. We're here we at love the cube. cubes, but you don't really necessarily love to get them Exactly, <laughs> IT. massaging the data, knowing the question ahead of time what, that you want to answer, the, the, the questions you're looking to monitor, putting that together, delivering maybe uh, you know, a dashboard weeks later, maybe months later, only to find out if you're the end user, well this isn't exactly what I wanted, and now you've got to go back to them. So, so there's, there's the traditional BI vector, and then there's also the Excel users, right? That's, that's what right. end users use, well, the what happens, users Yeah, use what happens themselves. a lot is that the, the scenario I just, that just, uh, I just described will obviously frustrate end users, and so they'll start doing things in their own, uh, on their own in Excel. Uh, you know, basically, you'll end up with Excel spreadsheets all over the place. Um, and you know, Excel, for all its, uh, you know, it is a powerful tool, and Microsoft is investing more money in things like Power Pivot to make it easier and, and uh, be, be able to scale and actually visualize the data a little bit differently. It's still uh, not the easiest tool to use, and that's where you know Tableau really tries to fill that void, making it easy, even if you're using Excel, to put Tableau on top of that and, and really create some dynamic So you touched on it, but, but I want to I follow up and, and get a little more color on this. So what, in your view, makes Tableau unique and different? Right, well I think a couple of things. The ease, I constantly hear uh, from customers is the ease of use. Um, you know, I had one customer say to me last night, look, it's business intelligence, it's data, so it's not necessarily easy, but Tableau is certainly the leader in terms of ease of use. If you're an end user, uh, if you want to build your own visualizations. Uh, basically, they take a very simple drag and drop GUI interface approach. You can drag uh, data sources together, you can visualize them in any number of ways, you can ask a question, get a visualization, maybe it's not what you expected, quickly change that visualization to something else. So you can explore the data much more uh, interactively than you can in a lot of uh, other, uh, using other tools like the traditional business intelligence uh, applications. All right, so we're here all day, today and tomorrow, wall-to-wall -to -wall coverage, this is theCUBE. Uh, we, we hope to have Nate Silver on tomorrow. You know, theCUBE, our tagline since 2010 is, we extract the signal from the noise, so we're going to ask Nate if, if he stole that line from us for his book, but <laughs> who knows. So today, big customer day. Uh, Philip Kim is coming up next from GE. We're going to talk to him about what GE is doing with data, what he's doing with data, what the Tableau, factor is there, so keep it right here. This is theCUBE, we'll be right back. Oh, I should mention, uh, definitely tweet us. I'm at DeVellante, he's at Jeffrey F. Kelly. Uh, uh, pound the cube and pound TCC13 is the hashtag for this conference. Right, and don't forget, we'll be streaming uh, the CEO, Christian Chabot's keynote, 1.15 uh, this afternoon. So tune into SiliconANGLE.tv yeah, for that. Christian Chabot is a founder and, uh, and visionary, so keep it right there, we'll be right back after this brief word. <laughs>